Hey, painting. So today we are going to start with our abstract art project. So what is abstract art? Um, there is not really a straight up definition for it. So I'm going to share you a bunch of concepts and ideas that I think apply to abstract art. Um, and there are some things that I'm going to straight up read because I think that the people who wrote them say it a lot better than I do. So this says abstract abstraction allows man to see with his mind what he cannot see physically with his eyes. Abstract art enables the artist to perceive beyond tangible to extract the infinite out of the finite. It is the emancipation of the mind and it is an exploration into unknown areas. So that's a lot of weird terminology. Some of you guys might um, understand this right away and some it might take longer to. Um, that's the nature of abstract art. It's different to everybody. Everyone sees something different. But basically, we're going away from realism. We're going away from the things that exist in the world. We're going away from identifiable objects. And we're going to into the unknown. Think of it that way. So the main purpose, let me move my little face down here. Uh, the main purpose of abstract art is not to tell a story, not to show you something specific, but to encourage your imagination and your involvement in the image. In order to appreciate abstraction, we should not focus on how realistically the artist has done something or created, but rather how successful they are at evoking emotion. So evoking means bring out, to like bring out an emotion as you look at something. Abstract, I'm really traveling all around the, the thing here today. <laughs> um, abstract art can also be appreciated in terms of the individual elements. So elements and principles of art, hopefully that you've learned in studio art. Um, color shape, line texture, space, and value. All of these are extremely um, crucial when creating a piece of abstract art because you can't rely anymore just on a picture or on something that's already you're trying to replicate something. You have to create it now. Um, an abstract artist's skills lie in his or her ability to use color and textures it to their best visual strength and to create a sound composition from those elements. Composition is your whole thing together. So you're asking what Mr. Will, what the heck? Like, how do we do this? What are we doing? We're doing this. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six examples of past uh, abstract nature, abstraction of nature project that we've done in the past from students. So all of these images originated from pictures they took, changed it, abstracted it, painted it. Um, all the ones you're looking at here were done with oil paints. You guys will have a choice if you're in person, whether you want oil or acrylic or watercolor. Uh, those at home will get the choice of acrylic or watercolor. But they're really cool. I'll move my head down here so you can see the rest of them. I really like this one on the right here, all the colors and stuff. Just remember abstraction is a scale. Um, so obviously, yes, this might be an abstraction of a flower, but so is this little petal shape too. So are these little peach shapes. So abstraction can be anywhere on a scale from realism to not realism. Um, so where this one is just color, no form left at all. And you can exist anywhere on that scale that you so choose. Uh, this last one here is a example of mine that I created. And I'll go into more detail about what this is in your next video about sketching your uh, sketching your pictures.